It is time for the betting buzz. This is where we break down all that buzzworthy news that's going on and how it affects us in the sports betting world. Well, lo and behold, we got a game on Black Friday. It took a while. We waited while everybody else was shopping. We were sitting there hoping, hey, can something come on? And yes, we got it. It's going to be the Dolphins at the Jets is what everybody's talking about. Dolphins obviously laying nine and a half. That over-under is sitting at 41. What everybody else is talking about is Tim Boyle is about to make his announcement to the world, coming on, replacing Zach Wilson, maybe a little a, a Boyle rules. A little, you might be 40 if you know that joke, but uh, hey, can a Boyle rules? Can we bring it through? Or? So smart money does think Boyle rules. Really? That's come in. The line was too high. It was 10 and a half. Okay. So it was just got out of hand. And so it's come down below 10. Talking to an Oz maker, there's not a huge difference in terms of the, the power ratings with Boyle and Zach Wilson. It'd probably be like seven and a half with Wilson, but those are kind of dead numbers, eight and nine. This is too high of a number. The Dolphins play down to their opponent a little bit, and I think the defense, I shouldn't say that, they, they're bullies, but when they play a good a good defense, they they keep like the Raider game last week. Is, I think this will be a very similar game, but they'll be on the road here. I like the under quite a bit. I don't think Miami's going to be go up and down. This, this Jets defense looked flat last week, no doubt about it. They had emotional games the previous two weeks. But I think the switch in quarterback, I think rejuvenated the locker room, a little shot in the arm. I think we're going to see a strong defensive performance from this defense. And I don't think much of Boyle. I got a stat for you. He played at UConn. I know a UConn fan who didn't even know he played there. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's not the stat I was talking about, though. That is a good fun fact, though. In his career, 13 interceptions, one touchdown. That's not NFL numbers. I, last time I checked. But he's six four, looks the part. I think they're going to be totally like, you know, game manager sort of approach. Hope the defense helps it out. I think in a pick 'em league, you take the underdog. I think you bet the under here, first half under and game under. I really like it in the situation. Well, regardless, Friday we got football, folks. We're going to have a good time watching it. That right there is the betting buzz.